everyone, I'm Katie with Hillsborough County Communications and Digital Media, here to give you a quick recap from the Board of County Commissioners regular meeting on September 22nd. The board presented a proclamation declaring September 2021 as Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. According to the National Cancer Institute, cancer is the most common cause of death by disease among children in the United States. Commissioners recognize several organizations that work to provide a variety of services to children undergoing cancer treatment at hospitals in the Tampa Bay region and throughout Florida. We really appreciate the support as it allows children and their families to know that they are remembered and cared for while facing such a challenge. The board also declared September 23rd through September 26th and September 30th through October 3rd as Hillsborough County Fair Days and urged all residents to attend the event and celebrate the county's rich heritage. And commissioners honored the life of longtime community activist Dolores Grayson, who passed away last month. Her commitment for local political activism was well known and respected, and her legacy lives on through the improvements she's made to the community. Hillsborough County Fire Rescue will be hiring 47 new firefighters over the next three years, all funded by the Staffing for Adequate Fire and Emergency Response, or SAFER, grant. During Wednesday's meeting, the board accepted the $11.8 million grant that was awarded from the Department of Homeland Security. 47 new positions to augment our existing operation is huge and my understanding is, is that the chief deserves an enormous amount of credit for aggressively going after these grants. So I just want to say, I, 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 on, on, I'm sure all of our behalf, this is really terrific. Fire Rescue has realized a significant growth in population in recent years and the demands for service have greatly increased. Commissioners received an update from county emergency leaders and the Florida Department of Health on the COVID-19 pandemic. Dr. Douglas Holt, director of the FDOH in Hillsborough County, reported that cases have been decreasing over the past few weeks with an average of 700 cases per day and a 10.7 percent positivity rate. The largest decrease has come from the elementary, middle and high school age groups. Dr. Holt says ER admissions due to COVID-19 are also decreasing but hospitals remain busy. In addition, commissioners voted to direct the county administrator and county attorney to write a letter to the governor and Florida Department of Health requesting that they start frequently providing the county with critical, detailed COVID-19 data such as case counts, hospitalizations, positivity rates, deaths, and vaccinations. Ferry service could be expanding in Hillsborough County. A majority of commissioners voted to approve a second interim public-private partnership agreement with HMS Ferries and South Swell Development to design, build, and operate a passenger ferry system in Tampa Bay with service between South Hillsborough County, MacDill Air Force Base, and downtown Tampa. The communities of South County have a keen interest in taking the ferry to Pinellas or uh, downtown Tampa for dining and shopping and concerts and events. The board will discuss the proposed plan further at a later date. The next BOCC regular meeting will be on Wednesday, October 6th at 9 a.m. You can watch that meeting live on YouTube. Just search for Hillsborough County Meetings. And for more information on Hillsborough County services and programs, visit hcflgov.net.